Welcome back to my channel, this is Toasted Gaming and today we're playing a new game a game that was just released to early access like two days ago I think at the time of playing it's called Back to the Dawn it's about Fox escaping from prison I think so you know let's get into the game and we'll see so we get to choose from two characters he's not captured yet got it so we can choose between Black Panther, Bob and, or Fox Thomas I'm going with Fox so why was broadcast journalist, undercover journalist or war correspondent? You know what? What is happening around the world? Let's go with war correspondent. I ain't gonna even look at my abilities or negative effects. If it's the law of the jungle in this city, then how are we any different from wild animals? We are wild animals actually. Dear viewers, I'm here at Lame Leg River near the Black Marsh chemical plant at Skid Road. As you can see, the river is purple. It also has a very pungent odor. I'm with one of the residents of the riverbank. Let's hear his thoughts on the matter. My thoughts? This damn chemical plant opened less than two years ago, and it's already devastated the surrounding area. Those heartless sons of bitches must have dumped sewage into the river at night. Now all the fish are dead. Just smell the stench! So many kids are sick, we can't stop coughing and have rashes all over their bodies. It's messed up! And have you informed the authorities? Such as the Environmental Protection Agency? Or City Hall? Of course! But they're useless! None of them want to take the responsibility. I hear that the mayor's nephew has shared some plan. The bastards are all in on it together. They see us poor people here are less than nothing. Viewers, is the tragic situation here the result of illegal sewage dumping? And is the inaction of the authorities due to the mayor's involvement? We'll continue to investigate the story, so stay tuned for our follow-up report. I'm Thomas, the Fox, Woodpecker TV. Excellent interview, Mr. Big Shot Reporter. I'm sure you didn't ask me here just to watch a video of you, Mr. Campaign Manager. Indeed not. We're both busy men. I'll get straight to the point. As you know, the mayor's four-year term is almost up. The election's just around the corner. He's seeking re-election and has hired me, Angelo. As his campaign manager. The mayors asked the Razor for help. He must be desperate. The Razor? Oh, that's just baseless slander. I'm serious social activist. But let's get back to the point. Cards on the table. The mayor does indeed have a certain relative who holds shares in the plant. But the mayor wasn't aware of that fact. And no so called power for money deal ever took place. But your interview may cause some of the more unsophisticated citizens to misunderstand the situation. So, I hope you'll reconsider your follow-up report to avoid any further misunderstanding. Uh, I'll find out the truth. What a great journalist. I admire your passion for your work. But there's more of life. But there's more to life and work. Far more. What are you trying to say? A little birdie told me you're still renting some flea bag apartment and broke up with your girl not too long ago. Hmm? And no friends to speak of, other than that lawyer you used to go to school with. Your radical reporting always gets you in trouble. And he's the one who has to clean up your mess. Oh, you've clearly done your research on me. You flatter me. I'm just trying to make a point. We both find ourselves in situations that are um, less than ideal. We can help each other. Kong. <clears throat> Kong. The briefcase. What? What's this? Are you trying to buy me? You got me wrong. 
I simply want you to join our campaign staff as head of publicity. This is your fee. Someone of your talent working as a TV reporter? Such a waste. I want to give you an opportunity. So, will you join us? Or carry on with your thankless reporting? You're a smart fox. I'm sure you'll make the right choice. Take the money, there's no shame in it? No! We're professional, we decline it. Put your money away. I'm not for sale. Oh, how unfortunate. Since you're so determined to be so stubborn, he leave me no other choice. Is the eraser about to show his true colors? You can't buy me, so you have to resort to threats? Are you looking for the chance to erase me as well? No way. You're the hotshot who broke the contamination story. If you were to disappear, it would be a major headache for me. After all, the public do love to engage in wild speculation. I'm glad to hear that. If there's nothing else, I'll be going. And I promise you'll see a follow-up report real soon. Take care. Have a nice day. <laughs> you'll regret your foolishness. Okay, that was fast. I'm Sergeant Norman. This is my precinct. Is this your car? Yes, is there a problem, officer? We received an anonymous tip that this car contains an illegal substance. We're here to check. Uh, Kyle, check up front. Eric, move your ass. Turn the trunk inside out. Sir, there must be some mistake. That's for us to determine. You just sit tight. Huh? Sarge? I found it! He was hiding something! And it looks like a great A stuff! This is a setup! The guy in the cafe, he must have... Shut your mouth! Save it for the station! Oh no... I'm just... A, a normal fox? What a great day! This calls for another cup! Prominent reporter sent sentenced to prison. Uh, three years in prison and fined 50,000. Yep. Sources stated he is also suspected of bribing interviewees and fabricating fake news stories. I'm ruined! Polderton prison cell block A. 21 days until mayoral election. Stand to the station. Listen good, fish. From now on, you are inmate 1220. I am Captain Bruce. I'm a voice of the law. You will obey. Do you understand? Uh, I, un I understand. What? Speak up. I can't hear you. I understand. Good. Now get your ass to the cell free and make it snappy. Okay, so we're going to sell free. Life sucks. We're in prison now. Here it is, fish. Your new home. Before you go in, one last thing. Headcount is in the lobby at 8. You better not be late. Now get out of my sight. Shit, life sucks in prison. There's nothing fun here. <laughs> that guy talks a lot. But now is not the time to waste energy getting mad at him. It's been a week since my conviction. And I still haven't met with Reed, my lawyer. I don't know how the appeal is progressing. I need to contact him ASAP. As the prisoners, they should know how to contact the outside. Okay. So we need some info. Do you know how to contact outside? Hi, I'm Thomas, your new cellmate. Oh, hi. I was just reading a letter from my girlfriend. I'm Sam. 
My nickname's Ratchet. I was a mechanic from the outside. Uh, I'm a journalist. Hey, no wonder you look familiar. I might have seen your show. Okay, he likes me. Let's ask him about the outside contact. Sam, is there a way to contact the outside? I need to talk to my lawyer. Of course, this is a modern prison. You can write a letter like me. Or if you're in a hurry, there's a payphone in the lobby. You can try after headcount, but there's usually a line. So headcount is after one hour. A phone. That's great news. I'll call after headcount. So what we're gonna do before headcount? I don't know. It says leave a cell and go to the lobby for headcount. So let's just do that. Go. I should go for headcount. Oh shit, there's some tough guys. Like, most of them look tougher than me. Well, at least half. Looks like I made it in time. Right, shut your mouse. The headcount's about to start. One, a two, a three, hmm, 45 or 47. That's too absent. The absentees are in the infirmary, that's all. Listen up. Today's the first of the month, which means some more dipshits have joined you. I'll warn you now. Do not try to stand out from the crowd. Try to be a smart ass in my domain, and I will show you no mercy. Now let's get down to business. All you newcomers, listen. And listen good. Yep, to enable you lazy maggots to earn your keep, the prison offers work assignments. There are still vacancies in the laundry room, for now. So any new inmates who want to earn some money should apply to me. Remember, don't be choosy about your job. If you don't want to do it, someone else will. Got it. Okay, so can I pick up a job? Shut the hell up. I don't have time to listen to your whining. Dismissed! Prison work? I do need some cash. I only have a few coins left in my pocket. But the top priority right now is to call Reed. He's probably waiting to hear from me. So we need to find a way to call Reed. And here's a payphone. Can I use a payphone? Come on! It's been so long! Did you show my script to the director or not? What? Why do you mean you didn't get a chance? You're his assistant. Do you have any idea how important this script is to me? My entire comeback is riding on it. Seriously, can you just get it together? Don't forget who helped you when you were at rock bottom. So can you move? He's on the phone. We can persuade him to leave or he can... Or we can pay him. How much money do we have? We have 50, 50, 50. Let's try to parasite him first. Uh, hi, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Can you let me use the phone first? Success! Nice. Fine, I was finished anyway. Thank you. Let's make a call then. Welcome to the prison smartphone. Please enter your inmate number after the beep. Press... Hashtag to end the call. Smartphone? I never expected this place to be so modern. Connecting. Hello inmate 1220. You can make two more calls today. You will be charged $10 per call. A $90 service charge will be added to your first call. I knew it wouldn't be that simple. It seems this place is more shady than I thought. I can't insert 100 because I don't have it. Yeah, so I need to find a way to get this hundred dollars as soon as possible. Well, shit. Well, shit. We need to make money. How do we make money? We need to find a, a job. I tell ya, if someone could give me a call beer right now, I'd even be willing to go to sack for him. Ho ho ho. Beer tastes so bland. It cannot hold the candle to my excellent spirits. <laughs> Say what you like about your spirits. The vodka from my hometown will put hair on your chest. Just one sip will blow your mind. I have a small bottle stashed away. I'll give you a taste sometime. 
Awesome, buddy. I had some in this bar up north one time. That stuff's so strong, it'll go up with just one spark. I hear some guys use it to make Molto cocktails. Hey, keep your voice down, Dumbass. You want Bruce to hear you? I can't remember voices that I did because there's way too many people. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. I can't remember voices. With this skill enabled, which is Northern Liquor, you will be able to craft liquor into Molotov cocktails on the workbench. Enable now! Enabling skills. Add a skill point. We don't have any XP. We can't, we can't do anything. So, what? Oh. Enable this. Nice. We have three more skill points, but we don't have anything to use them on. Got it. Okay, so let's get that jump. You talking to me? Uh, befriend. Hello there. Shush, keep it down. You'll scare them. Who? There's no one else here. All the little elves. Can't you see them dancing on the tip of my nose? And the lobster knights climbing up my legs. Oh, I get it. You're high as a coyote. You're hallucinating. I? No. I'm a magic chef. This is my psychic power. Then I guess you added a lot of herbs and spices to your food, right? Must have. I put in some mushrooms and painkillers. It tasted out of this world. The effects clearly haven't worn off yet. I'll leave him in his own little world for now. Tee <laughs> Little lobsters climbing. Little elves laughing. Okay, you befriend Diego the alpaca. His report will help you. Yeah, he is... he's alpaca. <laughs> a job, a job, a job. Can you give me a job, Kevin? This is bad. My friend. Hi. Give me a damn break. I said I'll pay you back the money. I just need more time. I'm in prison. It's not as if I'm gonna run. Uh, what? Wait, you're not here to collect the debt? You startled me. I thought I was in another beating. Sounds like you owe a lot of money. Mostly to a black law gang. But I borrowed a little from Bill to cover the interest. And then, two days ago, I borrowed some from Sam to buy Pekinless. When the new issue of Playpop came out, I wasn't gonna buy it at first, but the cover was just too tempting. So I bought a copy from Tony to credit. But he said he didn't get a discount if I bought beer as well, so... I gave a picture. You're just a deadbeat, right? No, not me. I don't wanna bail, but I have gas flow problem right now. Hey, how about this? You could lend me some gas to help me through this tough time. When I'm back on my feet, I'll pay you back double. How about it? Did you take me for a fool? You befriend Kevin by Koala. His support will help you. I like that Koala has the fastest voice in the game. No, no, we need a job. How do I get a job? We need to make money, and for that, we need a job. Okay, this quest. Give your lawyer read a call. Okay, but it's time to make some money. Okay, but the person is making things easier. You're seriously short on cash and can't afford the hundred dollars you need to make first phone call. Okay, I need to see Captain Bruce to apply for a job. Got it. Her attention, what is it? What? You wanna work? Good. Image should keep busy. And I have some good news. Right now. You can apply to work in the laundry room without good conduct credit. This is a special privilege for new fish like you. If you're interested, come and fill out the form. Yeah. I mean, work on roof side sounds better, but yeah, laundry room, why not? It's free. Also, we have none of those credits, so that's the only job we can get. Your application is approved. From now on, you can work in the laundry room. You got work permit. It's a great job, fish. You love it. So how do I get there? Simple. You see this fence gate? Go out from there before lunch and guard will take you to your workplace on the other side of the corridor. But don't try any funny business. The work area is watched by snipers on a watchtower. You wouldn't want to get your head blown off now, would you? Okay, we got a job. Okay, it's lunch time. Can we get to... What does he want? Hi, elephant. 
What you want, little fishy? Uh, gang affairs. The Bigfoot gang runs a prison's weight pit and then they're gonna fight. He's the, oh, he's the boss, Jumbo the Elephant. Can I get into the gang? What you want with a Bigfoot gang, little fishy? Uh, I just wanna join it. I don't have trust. Uh, I wanna learn about the gang quest. You wanna do a job? That's what I like to hear. I just happen to have a few jobs for an outsider like you. But listen good. I hate failure. So if you take a job, you better not mess up. So he has a quest to offer. Fall guy, I need to turn yourself into Bruce and confess. For something that Walter the Skunk did. Well, shit, okay, but, you know, I'll make enough money for that call. I hope the, I hope the hole isn't as bad as we say. Don't worry, little fishy. Just relax, take a nap, and you'll be out in no time. Ah, oh, yeah, it doesn't sound good. Oof, I'm scared, but, you know, money, money is good. Uh, Bruce, I know you just gave me that job, but I want to turn myself in, because I beat up Walter. I hear you're looking for the guy who put that skunk in the infirmary. That's right. Why? You know something, fish? Your search is over. I'm the one you're looking for. Hey, I remember when it happened. It was the day before you even got here. Um, that's because... It doesn't matter. Event 7. Now listen, good fish. Inmate 1220, Thomas the Fox. According to prison rules, Assault with a weapon is punishable by 6 hours of segregation. That be administered immediately. Off you go now. Time for a little vacation. So what? Is he stupid? I just turned myself in for a crime that I was, it was impossible for me to do. Stand in attention. This luxurious single room is where you'll be staying soon. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Mans, and I'm in charge here at segregation. This is a prison within a prison, dedicated to the care of prisoners among prisoners, like you. Remember, there's no food, no warmth, no friends, and no mercy here. All you can do is sit tight, count down the seconds, and then be grateful when you get sent back to the main building. You understand? Thank you for the introduction. Eh, I hope you still have that sense of humor when you get out of here. It's just six hours. Next is the routine frisk. There is no contraband allowed in SEG. Now, assume the position. Heh, <laughs> you're a lot cleaner than I expected. Now you get to enjoy your alone time. Control room? Open segregation cell 4. Just 6 hours. It's all good. But what are you gonna do? Being stuck in here. Feels like even time itself has stopped. This claustrophobic feeling is really starting to get to me. Let's pace out. Or... Rest until segregation? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna feel like shit. Segregation cell 4. Inmate 1220. Your segregation is up. Look, I just sat on a... On a chair for 6 hours. And now I'm free. I hate sex, it drives me insane. <sighs> Is it recreation time already? I could really use some fresh air after being stuck in sex. The yard looks pretty big. Hmm. There's a map on the fence. I'll check it out. So I'm here, we can go to Vape Pit, Bleachers, Cafeteria, Basketball Court! I love basketball. So we have two and a half hours of recreation. Awesome. So I can't return to the main building during recreation. At least there are quite a few places to kill time. A weight pit, a general building, even a chapel. I'll check them out. So first we should just work out. Yeah. Let's go here and lift some weights. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, lift, lift some weights. I'll give this a try. It's not good to be scrawny in this place. Wanna use the bench press? This is Bigfoot Gang territory. We're in charge here. Anyone from another gang wants to work out has to pay a fee. Understand? Either pay up or take a hike. 
I'll pay to use. Okay, I need to press spacebar to start. How do I work out? Oh! Space. SSAD space. Got it. Okay. I did six. I did nine reps. Pretty average. Let's do one more time. I can do better now. Okay, we got super hard. And okay, I did 12 way more. Not bad at all. And that's enough. What else should we do? Take a walk around the general building. General building, which one is that? So I'm near the weight pit and general building is... Oh, right. I have no idea why we need to take a walk around there. Let's take some grass. There are some plants growing on the ground. Clearly no one will mind if I pick some, right? Hey, I picked mint. And nobody cared. There is no sign on this building and the door and windows are all locked. How mysterious. Yeah, general building is weird. The sign on the door says general building. I guess it's a place for indoor activities. Hmm, it's locked? Well, oh, it seems really lively inside. Hi, can someone open the door? Stop shouting, you got the entrance fee? Entrance fee? Even this cost money? You kidding, right? This is black claw gang territory. Anyone who's not in our gang has to pay to come in, that's the rule. It's impossible to do anything in this hellhole without money. I'm not paying. Or do I have to for the quest? Yeah, we have to. Okay, I'm paying. It's <laughs> we have no money now. A sofa, a pool table, music. This place doesn't feel like prison at all. Yeah, it's awesome. Can I play pool with you guys? <gasps> There's even a foosball table. If there was bear, it'd just be like a bar. Maybe there is. You can also play chess. Black is living dangerously. I'm not helping anybody, it's just 3% so no chance. Is it a library inside? Let's see what kind of books there are. Nice. This is even a library. Look at that, William. This game is awesome, I'm really liking this. So I tried to play uh, Escapist, I couldn't get into it, but this game? This seems much more fun for me. Look, Game of Kings. I'm a super huge fan of Game of Thrones, so we have to take this one. Find a chair, and let's read. Game of Kings. After the king's death, the duke colluded with the chancellor to falsely accuse the queen of killing the queen of killing the king by witchcraft. The queen could only see the prince one last time before being imprisoned in the ice cage. He touched the prince's face and said, This is not a game between children. The time has come for you to grow up. Wow, what a tragic start. How can the boy beat his devious uncle? Do you continue? Uh, yeah, why not? I can go back to the main building now. I should grab dinner early. Oh shit, it was 5.41. I didn't expect this place to be so lively at night. I'll check out the nightlife before I go back to my cell. What nightlife? We're gonna check prison nightlife? But first we need to, con first we need to collect our dinner. Thank you, pig. Is this where I get dinner? Yeah, you remember. <clears throat> yeah, you're in the right place. I make the best waffles in this joint. A, a waffle? A waffle is the only thing for dinner? There's nothing wrong with waffles. They're tasty and filling. And there's nothing more important in prison than a full stomach. And if you're willing to pay, I can add a spoonful of cream for you. Try it. I'm sure you'll like it. I have no money, no cream for me, just give me my waffles. Want some cream with that, you like it? No. Oh, what a shame. So, I think we're pretty hungry. How do I eat what we just collected? We have cookie. We have waffles. Yes, eat them. And I feel way better. 
So what's my quest? Go to the bathroom and take a shower. Better bring a bar of soap and hope you're not gonna drop it. Okay, so I guess we first need to get a bar of soap. I wonder where. Okay, I found showers. But I don't have soap, so what's gonna happen? I don't wanna be raped on my first night here. Use soap. We don't have soap. Yet we need soap. How do I get soap in this game? I don't think we're getting any soap. Because I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to pay for it. We have only $10. A boxing ring? This place has a real prison vibe. Yeah, we're not doing this now. We need soap. So that's my cell, I think. So do I have soap? A toilet scene combo? It looks quite advanced. But that's not so. A storage cupboard. Looks like I can have my own space. There seems to be a piece of paper on top. Hmm. The prison schedule? This is exactly what I need right now. Okay, so that's the schedule. Morning headcount, lunch, recreation, dinner, bathroom opens. To save water, time spent in the bathroom may not exceed 30 minutes. Got it. And lockdown at 10. But what about the soap? I can't even brush my teeth, I have no toothbrush. Life sucks in here. No, 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 we're not gonna rest. We need soap, but how? Okay, I have no idea where to find soap. We're not gonna ask this creepy whitey. We're gonna go take a shower without soap. Still, better than no shower. Can we ask one of them to give us soap? Bill, Bill, bro! Can I ask you a favor? What's up, short stuff? I've run into a little trouble. I need the Bigfoot gang's protection. When you gotta see Jumbo, protection costs $50 for 3 days, you know the rules. Ah, uh, the problem is I only have $12, $20 right now. Then why are you wasting my goddamn time? Easy now, I don't need 3 days, just tonight. I'll pay the $20 straight to you. Tell me what the trouble is, when I finish showering, then I'll decide. So, no soap? Hey, what you calling me for? Ah, uh, no befriending. Let's just take a shower of no soap. I don't have any soap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Successful shower. I still don't feel very fully clean. There is no soap. I don't know. I don't know how to get soap. That's a problem. Okay, so our next quest is to go watch TV on second floor. I tried to save money. It's impossible. But we're gonna talk tomorrow to Elephant Boss, maybe we can, you know, get enough for that phone call. Wanna watch TV? The Sharp Tooth Gang runs this TV room. Uh, TV rules? There's something different on every night. For a small fee, you can relax and watch for an hour. The latest admission is 21 o'clock. If you're late, you'll miss out. <laughs> okay, I'll stop talking in this stupid accent. Uh, what's your TV schedule? Mondays and Thursdays are movies. Sundays are basketball games. And the other days are North Park. If you can't remember, just check the poster there. We spent a lot of money getting it. Okay, that's everything. Tonight's movie is the Corleone family. Corleone familia! <laughs> Mamma mia! Okay, perfect, let's watch it. I don't have enough money! No! No! What does he have? Does he give loans? I need to take a loan, please. Need financial services? Yes. Even in prison, money is still important, right? That's why the Black Law Gang provides loans and saving services. Ask about loans? If you're short of money, you can come to us for a loan. We won't charge much interest. And you have three days to do what you gotta do and then pay the money back with interest. A word of warning? The Black Law Gang hates it when folks don't pay up on time, so you better not try it. Ask about savings. Not everyone in here is broke. Some are even rich. If you don't feel safe having too much money on you, or if you want to make your money grow, then save it with us. We pay high interest, but you have to leave a fund with us for 3 days. Okay, that's everything. I want to take a loan. So I'm gonna borrow 150 and I'll need to pay back 210. That's risky, but let's do it. He laughed at me. 
enjoy spending it. Yeah, we can watch TV, we can get that phone call. I want to watch TV, but shit, we have more important stuff to do. That phone call. Hope it's not too late. Phew, looks like it works. They confiscated my business card holder, but luckily I, I memorized the Reed's office number. Of course, there is also another number I can't forget. Magius. Who should I call? No, no, Reed's law firm. Reed's law? Your, li your reliable litigation specialist. It's me, Thomas. Oh, finally. I was worried something bad had happened. It's not that easy to call from here. So, how are things going with the case? Oh, I was just about to tell you. The appeal fell through. I don't know if Angelo did something, or if it was the pressure from the mayor, but the retrial was denied. I have to wait a month before I can file another appeal, but as you know, the, mayor, the mayoral election is in 21 days. Even if the court does accept it, it's hopeless. Damn, those sons of bitches. But don't lose heart. I have some good news. Good news? Do you remember the anonymous phone call you received the night before you were arrested? I remember it was a woman. She said she had evidence that the mayor was taking bribes. I got calls like that every day from scammers selling false information. I know you've fallen for it a few times. I know you've gotten screwed out of a lot of money. But Evan could be real. Remember where she wanted to meet you? A little bar called Baroness. Uh, yeah, it rings a bell. My investigation has uncovered that the bar has some connection to the mayor. But I can't explain properly over the phone. We need to meet in person. Only, you may have to wait a few days. The prison said there are so many visit requests that all the slots are full. And even lawyers need to go on the waiting list. So, I just have to sit here twiddling my thumbs. I know you're anxious. Do you think you could possibly ask one of the guards to see if there is a way to bypass a waiting list? It might be worth a try, but what else have I got to do, right? Then we'll come at this from both sides. I'll carry on looking for clues. You make sure you be careful in there. If we can really get our hands on evidence of their crimes. <sighs> this is no time to go down without a fight. So, now I have to find a way to solve the visitation problem. Visitation problem, we don't care, we wanna go watch TV. They're showing awesome movie, Family of Corleone. We must watch it. Yes, I want to watch it. I mean, 40! Michael, my Mikey, do as I tell you. Give this money to Tom, then make him get on the boat and leave. But Pav, the bastard betrayed you, and you wanna give him money? Why not just whack him and be done with it? My boy, you're too young to understand. Think about it. If I give a million bucks to someone who betrayed me, everyone who stays loyal to me knows we'll get hundreds of millions. I still don't get what you mean, Pav. It's okay, my boy. You will, when you're sitting where I am. I can't believe he spent a million dollars just to teach his son a lesson. I guess only Vito the Leopard would go that way, that far. Now I think I understand why he was able to build such a huge criminal empire. Grants an extra 50% when increasing reputation. The Corleone family. I love it, that poster. Enable now. Enable that skill. Yes. And that's it. Awesome movie, I loved it. Okay, we spent some time in prison nightlife. So, guys, this is where I stop. I don't know if any of you ever gonna want to watch me play this again. If you do, I'll play. This game's awesome. I really like this game. I thought it was gonna be just like Escapist, but no. It's so much different. I'm enjoying the story. Also, there's a lot of stuff to do, apparently. And, you know, our main character, Fox... He has something. He has a heart. I I want to believe in him. And also we have a huge cast of characters. Gangs. Uh, cops. Lawyers. There was a mention of women. There's everything. This game's awesome. I really enjoyed these 45 minutes playing it. 
and and if somehow some way any of you any of you want me to continue this i'd love it i would be so happy please leave a like you don't even have to write anything just leave a like if i see that people like it enough i'll do part two for early access this is very cool so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one goodbye